I wish people wouldn't end friendships over differences in political views. And they're usually people on the left ending friendships with people who have expressed too many right-wing viewpoints in certain areas. If you vote for person X, I'll claim that you actually hate A, B, and C demographics, and therefore I can't be your friend. I mean, there are obviously examples of the right-wing exuding this behavior as well, but it's usually people on the far right or they're ultra-religious. It's not even close to being a norm on the right. It's usually people that you probably wouldn't be disappointed if they dropped friendship with you in the first place. Like people who see the devil everywhere. You know, they break everything apart, every situation, everything apart in terms of good and evil. And I suppose if I was truly on the right, I would feel the same way regarding people on the left ending friendships with me as I do people who are ultra-religious. So many people, particularly in the LGBT community, you know, and, and including those who would be fine marching next to Black Bloc Antifa, are promoting some far-left ideas. People who can't understand how authoritarian their ideas and values actually are. But as long as it's demographically diverse, it has to be a good thing, right? As long as everyone is equally miserable, we've achieved the goal of equity. And yet, apparently, the right wing supposedly has a monopoly on authoritarianism. Here's the thing. I think Trump is going to win. If Kamala expects to win, she needs to stop doing interviews. Because she looks worse and worse after each one. The 60 Minutes interview was really uncomfortable to watch because she just apparently just didn't know how to answer some very basic questions. You know, they're the straightforward questions. Questions about how she's changed her position so many times. Some of her answers had nothing to do with what was actually being asked. They were just some virtuous-sounding statements that had no actual substance. Oh, I came from X background, uh, and I believe in, in workers, and I, my family is this, my friends are that, I believe in making the country better, I believe in an opportunity economy. She seems to think that simply smiling and being positive is a winning strategy. Regardless of how much it comes off as someone trying to have the intellect, emotional capacity, and political views of a 16-year-old girl. When she was on Stephen Colbert, most of her answers were just more of her trying to virtue signal as much as possible while saying absolutely nothing. She didn't have to actually address anything because he didn't push. She just played that 16-year-old act again, and I guess, I guess she thinks that's a winning strategy. It's not really looking good for her. She appears to have no actual plans, just virtue signaling. And in these interviews, she's admitted to having the same policies as Biden. At this point, I'm not absolutely certain I'll be voting for her. Regardless, I think Trump is going to win. But we'll just have to see, right?